Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at creating a spiral staircase using the extension Relative Copy. Yeah, I'm thinking of what more to add than what I just did, and I can't think of anything else. Let's get in and start modeling. Let's go. All right, so here we have a little setup where I have a ground here, and then I have a second floor up here, and I want to get from here up to here. And we're going to do that in this little space using a spiral staircase. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, I'm going to model this kind of on the ground right here and uh, we'll move it into place once it's fully modeled. So I'm going to start with this circle. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to pull this out like uh, 1.5 inches. Give me a three inch circle in the middle. Um, that doesn't seem very big. Let's try it. Let's, let's make like a, three inch, so give us a six inch circle middle. That, that seems a little more realistic. All right, I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to make this into a group. Not because I'm gonna reuse it or anything like that, but just to, to isolate the geometry. All right, and let's make a step come out. So I'm gonna go from the middle right here, I'm gonna come this way, three foot, enter. All right, and let's see, I wanna go, what I wanna do is have we're gonna do 12 steps to create a circle. So that means this segment, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an edge from the center to this line right here, and then from the center to this segment right here. So that's the pie slice that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna follow that same length, say three foot, 36 inches, and then one more right here, going this way, 36 inches. All right, now, I don't need those. I gotta get an arc here. And this is the reason for this middle one, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I wanna put an arc from here to here. Um, I wanna be considerate of how many edges I put into the arc. I'm gonna put four in, um, and we'll see why. That four is going to have to do with the number of balusters I put when I put the handrail up. So I'm doing four right now, because uh, I think that's gonna prevent me from having to do more work uh, in the future. Um, all right, and then to close that, I'm just gonna draw a couple edges right here. And then there we go. That gets me my stair. So uh, I'm gonna push that up like an inch thick. And then I'm gonna triple click and make that a component. And I'm just gonna call it my stair step. All right, and now we should probably have like some sort of depth to this step. It's, I mean, putting it on the ground is probably a realistic assembly step, but probably want to have it higher up off the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and I'm going to move it up um, 7.5. Actually, I want it 7.5 inches to the top, so I'm going to move it up 6, 6.5 since it's a one inch that will give me from the ground to the top of the step is seven and a half inches. That's perfect. Now, what I'm gonna wanna do is take this and my next step should be rotated around this much and then it's going to be moved vertically 7.5. So that is one step to the next step. That's the first thing I have to set up. I need to create my steps and then I need to actually lay two of them out. So once that's done, now I can use memory copy. Or I'm sorry, relative copy. Relative copy is very simple too. What I do is click on it. I click on the first one and the second one, and it will give me, see that little gray box that shows up above? That's showing me where the next copy is gonna go. Now I want more than one copy, I want like, I don't know actually how many copies I want, so I'm just gonna type in I want 15. And when I do this, you can see it goes, okay, that's gonna go all the way up, and that looks like it goes past the top, so that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and click, and there we go. I got a bunch of steps going all the way up now. If you look at it from above, you can see they do spiral perfectly, and they do get up past the top. In fact, I think I have one extra. I could have could have gone light on that. There we go. I'm gonna double click into my circle that I had before. I'm gonna bring it to right here. And then we'll go another, I can't remember how tall a handrail is, 30 inches. Um, 
We're gonna go a little bit taller there. And our stairs are already coming together. So um, a big thing I'm gonna need on here though is handrails. So before I do a handrail, I'm gonna grab all of this. I'm gonna make it put into one group. And I wanna rotate this whole group from the middle of this column, that's my, my point. And I wanna take this point so that it is parallel to this edge, which is, you know, the, the what is that, the red axis, there we go. So that means that this step will basically turn into the landing up to the wall here. So I can take this and we'll scoot this over so it hits the wall. And then we'll give it like, I don't know, two inches of clearance, bring it back two inches. And then same thing here, I'll grab this, slide it up, run it all the way into the wall, which should be right at the corner, there we go. Oops. And then we'll pull it back two inches also. All right, so that's where my stairs are gonna go. Um, this top stair then is going to, I guess, well, we don't wanna do it just yet. I wanna put my balusters up here first, and then we'll, uh, once the balusters are on here, we'll extend this out. So my balusters, uh, this is why I put this in four segments because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into this. It's a, it's a component, so I can do this once and it'll cop, happen to all of them. I'm going to offset one inch. And then in the center of each of these, I'm going to put the, where I'm, the middle of my baluster here. So I'm going to do like a 0.25 circle. And then I'll do that another one right here. And another one right here. And then another one right here. And with that, we can get rid of that arc. That arc was just there as reference. So we're at little arcs or er, arc chunks, arc segments there in the middle. All right, there we go. Now, this first one's gonna go up our full height. I'm gonna go up 30 inches on that. And now this is where it starts to get a little so I can I can do the same thing with each of these, but these are all gonna have to actually be a little bit taller because I'm going to go let me and let me draw a quick line for reference so I'm going to find the center of this circle and I'm going to go to the center of the first baluster on the next step so that is the height we want to follow but it's not that simple of course it's just never that easy because we have to have this also step out and and follow these so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna push pull this up until I get to that edge. Come to this one too. Push pull that up until we come to the center of that edge, which is where that will line up with. And then third one. Um, that's actually ballparking. I don't like ballparking. I don't wanna ballpark. What I wanna do instead is take this segment so we know that this one does line up with the center that is correct if i break this here now when i go push pull and pull this up i will find a new center point on this new on this segment where are we at there we go that's where that should line up and then this one will line up with the center point of this piece right there all right now i get rid of this line because what i'll do instead is draw a new edge before i do that I want to make each of these. I need to separate my step geometry out from my baluster geometry. So I'm going to go grab this one. And I'm just going to make them groups at this point. I don't think that will hurt me in the future. That could be a great clip for foreshadowing. If this doesn't work well, then uh, I'll know because I will see on social media that, uh, you know, it did because it'll be a great little. 30 second clip about how you should always use components and not groups like I just did. But I think we'll be okay with this one. A group, it's like the rest of this, make that into a group. We should be good there. Now I need to put my last piece on here is a line from the center of this to the center of this to the center of this to the center of, you guessed it, this, and then one final edge right there. There we go. So now we have that. This is not the finished, uh, this is just the center line of where our handrail will go. It's not finished yet. 
but uh, you can see we're pretty close. I'm going to come up here, and what we're going to do is, at this point, we can explode everything except for the column. There's no need to explode that. So I'm going to go ahead and explode that. I'm going to come into this piece, and I'm going to push-pull that out here, like that. And then I'm going to take this baluster right here, and I'm going to go option this direction four inches. Okay, I actually went a little too long. I should have I should have uh, done tighter spacing here because four inches is what's supposed to be the minimum. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of this segment right here, and instead go from here all the way to the center of this one, and then a little beyond. And now I'm going to triple click this edge. That's going to grab all the edges all the way down, and I will right click and weld that. Now I can come in with a circle, lock it to the green axis. Uh, we'll do like a, I don't know, one inch, Maybe right, a two inch handrail, something like that. All right, so let's grab this. We're gonna use follow me, select the circle. There we go, there's the handrail, come down the bottom, do a little, just a little push pull to get that to extend past. Triple click that, make that a new group. And with that, about 10 minutes, we got a stair using one extension, which is Enerot's relative copy. And uh, yeah, that is it. So I like to head these off. I realized as I was modeling that I didn't put my balusters close enough together. They're supposed to be like four inches apart per coat. I think I ended up at like four and a half or five or something like that. Forgive me. You could do that math, make fewer or make more edges along the outside edge of the step. That'll let you track those balusters even closer together and then everything will work perfectly. So uh, I apologize. Forgive me, please. All right. Forgiveness time's over. If you like that, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Did you learn something new? Did you find a, tr a trick or a tip in here that you are going to implement into how you model? Or do you make this kind of geometry regularly and have a better way of doing it or a different extension you would recommend? Or, best yet, is there something that you would like to know how to do or a workflow that you're interested in that we haven't covered here that you think we should? Let us know that in the comments as well. And don't point out that I forgot to put a handrail right here and that people are just going to walk up and fall off. I got that. I, I actually didn't realize it till right now. Um, easy enough to fix. You should, you know, uh, no problem. But let us know about those comments. Let us know in those comments what you think we should do. If there's other videos you think we should make, like making these videos a lot, we like even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.